Hi, this is Glenda, and today I'm making a succulent soap. I will be using this succulent soap embeds. They are made with soap dough. And I also made tiny pebbles that will go on this soap as well. For fragrance, I will be using Sweater Weather from Be Scented. This fragrance says that it doesn't have vanillin, so I thought it was not going to discolor, but it did. I thought I was going to be coloring my soap gray with bentonite clay, which I have here. And this I mixed the day before. Bentonite has an incredible capacity to absorb water. In here, there were five ounces of water, so a little bit more than half a cup of water and one tablespoon of bentonite clay. So I had to add a little bit of water to see if I can loosen up this paste and it can incorporate it into the oils. I'm going to be adding it to the oils, which by the way are at 97 degrees Fahrenheit or 35 Celsius. Ordinarily, clays are added to the light water solution from what I remember. However, my light water solution is looking like this, which looks more like a slushy. And I think it's because I used tetrasodium EDTA and when you add tetrasodium EDTA directly to the light water, it tends to precipitate or thicken up like this. I'm also using a um, combination of sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide. Potassium hydroxide is usually used to make liquid soap or even shaving soap. The idea is that part of the soap will not become fully solid and it will remain more available to interact with water, producing therefore more bubbles. It is only a 5% of potassium hydroxide in here, so the bar is still going to be a solid bar. If you have only known bentonite clade in the cosmetic industry, you may be surprised to know that it is widely used in the oil and gas industry. I used to work for an oil and gas services company and bentonite clay was something that they used to manufacture mud. It is an expensive kind of mud. Uh, it is used to make sure that when drilling is being done, the mud brings to the surface whatever waste is being generated from the drilling. This is the mold that I will be using. I pretty much just cut the end of a priority mailbox. Now I have received some items in this box just to clarify uh, because if you're in case you're not aware um, it's illegal in the US to use these boxes from the USPS for anything other than their intended purpose which is mailing or shipping something since they give you these boxes for free. Um, I received something in it and I'm recycling in it so it's okay now. So far I have reached emulsion with the soft batter so I'm going to measure and add the fragrance oil. Meanwhile, I will also show you quickly how I made the embeds. I will have a full video that talks about more of the making of the embeds and I'm going to link that below, but this should give you just an overview.
been about three days since I made this and I removed it from the mold and it started pulling off easy on this side but on the other one it's still a little stuck so I put it on the freezer and this is the portion where it was stuck but I wanted to show you how the discoloration which the fragrance is not supposed to have vanilla or very little so I'm not really sure well there's many things in a fragrance that can cause discoloration maybe it's something else I don't know and that's what it looks like on the inside